hey there and welcome to a brand new video today we are shopping for the first christmas that i am decorating in the house this will be our our official second christmas in the house but we didn't get a chance to decorate last year we purchased our christmas tree last week and i am so excited to decorate and set that up i'm a little early before christmas it's actually october right now but i wanted to go in and see what they have of course i'll update you guys along the way if you love decorating i hope you'll stick around and continue watching don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let's go inside Hobby Lobby is really your one-stop shop when it comes to Christmas decor. Whether you're first time shopping like I am or you are a seasoned veteran in the Christmas game, it is literally the best place for you. I love this aisle full of all of the different tchotchke looking ornaments. These are definitely so cute if you have a little family or if you like to go the very traditional route. Hobby Lobby also has some of the best looking Christmas trees in the game. A lot of these are 50% off, so whether you're looking for a very small tree or a 10 foot tree, they have it. One of my favorite things about Hobby Lobby is their color coding system. So if you're looking for an all red, maybe all silver, or maybe a colorful looking color scheme, they have everything you need and organized to make it very easy to get in and out and decorate how you want. I'm definitely decorating in a color scheme this year and so that was amazing for me because I could easily pick up and find what I need. This Grinch section was so cute and perfect if you have littles. And I love this value pack aisle of ornaments. They have them in both glass and shatterproof. You know, your girl went with the shatterproof because I am clumsy. And if you wanna go more with a specific theme, they have the cutest section of like farmhouse and glam. So definitely up your alley if you're interested in those two. They also have a DIY wreath section, and I love this for your mantle, your front door, your windows, you name it. And I love how it really makes it easy to do DIY projects because everything's already organized for you. All right, popping over to Kirkland's, and this was my first time shopping at Kirkland's for the holiday season. I loved all of their options as well. They were having a sale, it was 25% off, which I think they might have a better sale now that we're closer to the Christmas season. They had a lot of red and green traditional, which is what I was going for, but they also had a lot of neutral on the other side. I loved everything about their Christmas decor from the artwork to the little Christmas tree truck. Just little things like that really make Christmas very special. Alright, it has been a couple of days and so I have picked up quite a bit of stuff here in this little corner of my office. Let me show you what I got. I went to Home Goods. Hobby Lobby and Kirkland's. I didn't find anything at um, Michael's and I haven't been to Target yet. Um, so what do we have here? Oh, so um, we haven't decorated anything, um, the dining room or anything yet. So uh, I wanted to get like a set of napkins that were festive and perfect for like Thanksgiving or Christmas, any kind of like dinner party. So these are just very simple napkins. It's a set of eight. They're white with a gold stripe. Okay, the next thing I got was this little lantern and I thought this was so cute. 
Um, so it's just like a little simple lantern made out of wood. Um, they have Christmas trees on them. It's just very simple. It has a little rope here, which I thought was very cute. So you can just leave it like this and let it dangle. And I plan on putting this by our fireplace. Right now we have pumpkins. And so I kind of want to decorate the fireplace up just a little bit. Okay, the let's go to something a little bit easier. <laughs> um, okay, so the next thing I got... Oh, this is for another video, but I just picked up some frames, so I won't show that because I plan on filming a video later on with that item, so I'll actually take that out. Um, so I picked up this little stocking. They had the cutest stockings in such, such great quality. So this was $9.99, which the ones at Hobby Lobby are not that attractive looking, and they're very flim. Uh, thin and flimsy. I'll, I actually picked up two of them and I actually want to take them back and just get some more from Hobby um, Home Goods. So this one is Brooklyn's. It's just a like quilted with um, little Christmas trees and red stars and just some shrimp on the top. I got these little spoon rests. You guys, look how cute these are. Um, so these are like a peppermint type of spoon rest it was five dollars this one is really cute too it's a little Santa um, and this was five dollars as well so I thought these would be cute in the kitchen we always need multiple of these and I only have like one seasonal one so I picked up two of them and I thought they coordinated well these are very like cheesy Christmas but I'm loving for it actually maybe let me bring you in a little bit so you can see me okay I think that was a little better. Um, so I got these faux Christmas candles or just faux candles for the bookshelf. And I plan on keeping these up there like throughout the year. But definitely during the Christmas time, I think it's just so cozy and warm. Um, and so then I got five of them in different sizes. And so they're flameless LED candles. However, they have, they're made out of like wax. So they feel like actual candles. They look like actual candles. And then it has like a fake flame, so it looks so good. Um, so this large container is $19.99. I don't know how many are in there, um, but they come with the little gold piece on top. And then I bought some hooks separately. So I don't know how many ornaments the tree will hold. So I got two of the red ones. And then, uh-oh, that's falling over. I have too much. Um, and then I picked up a pack or a package of the green ones. So these are the same, just green. So here is um, Quentin's little stocking. So it's not bad quality. It's ten ninety nine, so it was five dollars. Okay, the lighting sucks because <laughs> I have to turn the light on. But hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. And then I got some little decor for the bookshelf and just around the house. So I picked up this cute little Christmas tree. This was $9.99. I think I did mention in the beginning of the video, actually I can't remember, I am making a wreath um, for the front door that will match the home decor. And so I bought, I bought a, a bunch of picks to go both in the tree and on the wreath. So like when people come over, everything ties in together. So they have these cute little champagne um, picks for $2.99. And they're just like little, I don't even know what this is supposed to be, but I thought it was really cute. And I'm going to put some in the tree, but again, put some on the wreath so everything will tie in together. This is Brooklyn's little ornament. Um, this was $2.99, but I just thought this was the cutest little thing. And this will be her first ornament because we've never had a Christmas tree before. Okay, I used to always get jealous at people that had little Christmas town growing up and you know what I'm talking about like they used to have a little table it had the whole set it was like a little Christmas town and they had like a little train and just like fake snow and like all of that stuff and I love the Christmas town eventually when I have kids I'm definitely doing the Christmas town but in the meantime I found this cute little house and it lights up you guys I'm gonna put batteries in here but it lights up and I thought this was so cute and they have like, it's kind of like a setup, but it's too farmhousey for me and my taste, but it is like a little Christmas town. Um, so this one is 
actually in their fall setup. It's not Christmas, but this was $6.99. It's a porcelain house with LED, and this is just too cute not to pick up. Okay, Hobby Lobby has a lot of like candles. They have a whole candle section and they have pillar candles. I actually think I didn't pick up one even though I picked up a candlestick, which kind of just seems like a very odd idea. So maybe tomorrow I'll go back and get some little pillar candles. But this one is Frosted Mistletoe in Mint. It is Icy Peppermint, Poinsettia Greens, and Crisp Herbs. Regal Evergreen Adorned with Glimmering Icicles, Bright Winter Citrus, and Leafy Mistletoe with a wooden wick. Oh, this smells like Christmas on crack. And this one is called Spice Pomander. I don't know if I'm just ignorant, but I don't know what a pomander is, but it smells amazing. Okay, we're almost done. And then the next thing is, oh, I got more napkins, but I got them to match like the Christmas tree. So to pair it with those gold ones that I have um, on the tablescapes. These are just like the cheapest little napkins, perfect for a dinner party. Um, and I love Hobby Lobby's like dinner party setup because they just have everything you basically need. Um, and this was $2.99, so again, 50% off. It's just a red and green check. I'm not 100% in love with these, but I feel like I could make them work, especially with the gold striped um, napkins that I have. So these are just little Christmas tree napkin holders. They're black with gold on the inside and they have little Christmas tree cutouts. And for $1.50, I'm like, you can't beat it. So I got six of those. I got two candle holders um, in green, I believe. These were $11.99, so 50% off. They look like just little Christmas trees, um, but I love this like ridged vibe that is going on it's definitely my aesthetic and I thought these were so luxe looking for a candle holder especially at Hobby Lobby I feel like you could probably find this at CB2 or Restoration for a lot more money um I got these little cranberries actually a couple weeks ago to go on the wreath um and I also wanted to put some of them on the Christmas tree that looked good but mainly for the wreath um, so it's like the red that will tie in they look like they have like snow on them Thought it was really cute and these were $6.99 on sale Then I got a Christmas tree skirt. So I got this from Hobby Lobby But I kind of want to go to like home goods or something and see if they have something different I'm not a hundred percent in love with it, but I wanted something Neutral to go underneath the tree and I thought this was like cute But who knows I might go with something a little bit more fluffy like maybe something like this um so these are the pigs that are going on the tree I bought three of them like basically little pigs that you put in the Christmas tree as some filler so you don't have to use a bunch of ornaments and I like them because they add a little bit of whimsy I got them in this little champagne color they are a little distressed looking so I could always just re spray paint them or something um, and these are also good if you want to cut them off and put them on a wreath. Then I got some more picks. These were $1.99 um, and then they were on sale. These are like a more champagne-y color, like a smaller version of those larger picks. So I got these to go on the wreath, but I, I can also add a couple of these to the Christmas tree as well. Then I found this cute little Christmas star. And it lights up, so once you put batteries in, it will light up. I thought that was so cute, and I got it to go for on the bookshelf. And then I got some more of those baubles, but these are covered in little tiny beads. I think it's what they are, but I thought these were so cute looking. They look very luxe. I got some more ornaments. So I got this set. It looks like distressed, like inky something, paint splattered type of um design and i thought them, they were so cute so these are $12.99 actually a little bit more expensive than getting that big set but i think these are better quality um and they're a set of 12 of them shatterproof they have glass options at hobby lobby too but just knowing myself they're going to break so i would rather go with the shatterproof and then um this is like a frosted burgundy and then i picked up a see-through glossy green version of the same one again $12.99 um, this is evergreen evergreen cottage and the red one is called fig and magnolia 
I also picked up some small ornaments because you guys are gonna die. I got a little Christmas tree for my office. I am that person. I got this, I got this little Christmas. Um, this is the little uh, Christmas tree skirt. This is was $5.99 to go on the bottom. Are you catching the vibe? And then I also picked up this set of um, rose gold one, rose gold ornaments. I'm so pumped for my little Christmas tree. Got this big set of um, value ribbon to go on the tree and this one, it doesn't have a name but it was $11.99. It's like this gold color with wire on the edge. Picked up this little bowl. It's kind of like a serving bowl you can put on a table for dinner or just like put fruits or whatever you want in here and this was in part of their like tablescape collection so they had a whole half of an aisle that had all of this like it was like deer and Christmas trees and hand painted type of like design this is called Aspen Cove the collection okay and then I went back and got more of um, ornaments I got these gold glittery ones with small and big glitter. So those are all of the Christmas items that I picked up. Um, I cannot wait to decorate. It's going to look so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and this shop with me. Definitely, definitely subscribe if you are new here because we are going to be cleaning and decorating the whole house soon to get started. And then I'm, of course, I'm going to continue shopping along the way as we get closer to Christmas as more items are released in the store so I'll bring you along with me there and then you can continue decorating with me and getting some inspiration so thank you so much for watching I hope to see you in a couple days in a brand new video bye